Hello, my name is Anna and I am a dietetic intern from Purdue University um, doing my last rotation here at Health and Nutrition Technology. And today I would like to show you how to cut and prepare an artichoke. This can be kind of an intimidating vegetable, but we'll go through some very simple steps on how to prep it so that you can enjoy it with your dinner. To look for a fresh artichoke, you want to make sure that the leaves unlike this one, are tightly compacted. You also want to make sure that it's not brown and that it's heavy in terms of weight. That will let you know that you have picked a good product when you go to the grocery store. There's a couple different ways to prepare an artichoke. You can simply cut off the top and the stem and then steam it and you can enjoy simply taking off the leaves and um, putting them in a little bit of low calorie butter or um, any other type of Greek yogurt, kind of as a sauce. Making sure that um, you're not putting on a generous amount of butter, but just enough to give it a little flavor. An excellent way to enjoy a vegetable. So I'll show you how to do that first, and then we'll look at preparing the artichoke heart, which is deep um, underneath these leaves. So, so the first step would be to wash the artichoke under cold running water, which we have already done. And then we will simply take this first half of the artichoke and cut off the top. As you can tell, the leaves are squeaky, which means that we have picked a good artichoke. As you can see, we cut off the top. Then, if you were just going to steam it, you would remove the base. But since I'm going to show you um, the artichoke heart, I'm going to leave it in place because it is an extension of the heart in the center. Next, we will take our scissors and cut off these thorns on the leaves. They're not um, very edible and they're not going to add to the presentation of the vegetable. So um, it's just better to go ahead and remove those. I'm also going to pull off the bottom leaves here just so that we can get easier access to the inside of the artichoke. And again, the leaves that um, you're going to be eating are going to be the larger ones. So we'll just go ahead and pull these off. All right, as you can see here, our artichoke has been trimmed. We've cut off the top. And if we were going to steam it, I'd remove the base and go ahead and do that on the stove. Instead, we're going to go ahead and um, get to the heart of the artichoke. To do this, I'm actually going to remove more of the top. So this is about two-thirds of the artichoke body. And then all these excess leaves that you see that surround this yellow portion should be removed. So again, we're just going to tear through them and try to get to the center. The artichoke um, actually has a thistle on the inside of it, which once we reach that, we're going to have to remove that as well. Now, artichoke hearts could be used in a variety of dishes, such as um, a dip or put in with pasta or another type of sauce to kind of add um, a distinct flavor as well. As you can see, there are quite a few leaves to an artichoke. And when you're getting the heart, it's the very, very center. Now you can also buy artichoke hearts that are canned or um, already prepared for you so you don't have to do all this labor. And that's an excellent option if you're wanting to obtain um, a lot of artichoke hearts. Now, this will um, oxidize rather quickly, and it'll start to turn um, kind of a brown color, which is normal, because it um, is a very sensitive flesh to this vegetable. All right, so as you can kind of see here, we have gotten more down to the center of the artichoke. I will then take this spoon, and um, the thistle part is down in here. And we'll simply try to dig it out. There it is. 
it looks like just a regular thistle that you would find growing out in a garden. This is um, really fibrous and it's not going to taste very good. So we're going to go ahead and work on removing that. You can see it there in the middle. There it comes. Just trying to get it out because it's not going to add to the flavor of our dish at all. Now that we have the stock of the artichoke, we will take our utensil here to scrape off the skin portion. Again, this um, should be covered with lemon juice to prevent um, it from turning brown. And ideally, you should be able to go through and take all the rest of this off as well. Because again, we're not wanting to um, consume any of this. We just want this centerpiece, which is the artichoke heart. And what you would do with this is once you remove all of the leaves and outside portion of the artichoke, is you would take it, quarter it, cut it up, and then um, put it into whatever dish, sauce, or um, pasta entree that you would like. And as you can see, this is turning brown. So what I would make sure I would do is simply take um, you know, a knife and go back through and take off the brown portion and then um, I would take lemon juice and apply it to the top and that um, acid would help to protect the um, air or get prevent the air from reaching um, my vegetable. So as you can see this is the artichoke heart and we would take this and um, cook it and prepare it and put it in our recipe. After we've recovered our artichoke heart um, you can kind of tell that I made a little bit of a mess and uh, the rest of the leaves have kind of just fallen apart. However, if you're looking for artichoke hearts, I would strongly encourage you to purchase them already prepared or in a can or a jar at the store. It will be much more economical than having to cut this apart to access this one part of this vegetable. However, if you're wanting to enjoy the um, artichoke leaves and you know putting a little spray butter on them or something like that, simply cutting off the base and the top and steaming it is an excellent way to enjoy this wonderful vegetable.